He's different, he's brave, he's been through hell, and he usually has a smile on his face. That little guy, when he was born, he's brought so much joy to me. He's changed me in such a good way. He means everything to me. Porter's had multiple, multiple surgeries. He's a little cyborg is what he is. He's got a lot of plastic and parts in him to help him uh, maintain his health. When I thought about having a son, I imagined, okay, as soon as that little guy can walk, I'm getting him in a pair of skates, I'm building an ice rink for him. And now all of a sudden, that's not a priority. Keeping him alive is a priority. Making sure he's healthy is a priority. Making sure he gets everything he needs to be successful in life is a priority. And if I could somehow get him in a pair of skates, well, that's just a bonus. With only 30 people in the world being diagnosed with Porter syndrome, nobody really knew what to expect. Porter is the strongest and bravest little boy I know. He's so much more than I could have ever imagined having a son. Porter was born with Bear Stevenson syndrome, which is a condition that affects the sutures in one skull. Almost all of Porter's sutures were fused um, in his skull and his mid face. Because Porter has a trach, um, he's unable to vocalize. Instead of vocalization, he uses sign or picture exchange to communicate and he uses a walker to get around because of the pressure that was on his brain. He has mobility issues. The first time I took Porter to gymnastics, he was in his element. It was motivating for him. He was having fun. He was doing something that he enjoyed. And he was having fun with other kiddos outside of a therapy setting, outside of a medical setting. He was just himself. He was just a little boy having fun. We just want to show the world that Porter is like every other little four-year-old boy, that he just wants to have fun and he wants to feel love and kindness and acceptance from everybody. When you have a child that requires care, you want them in the best place. And we have a world-class facility in our backyard that our child is able to go to. When Porter goes to the stallery, he feels comfortable. It's a second home to him. He, he knows who is there and what to expect. Porter's core team of doctors, surgeons, and nurses that work with him, we say all the time, they are Porter's dream team. He has the dream team. He has the best of the best surgeons, doctors, and nurses looking after him. We didn't know how Porter's first year would look. We didn't know if we were gonna get him through this. The fact that he's walking and communicating and growing and developing are all multiple successes. He clearly has a strong health advocate in his family and, and has been able to really teach us as much as we've been able to help him. In September of 2016, we held a fundraiser called Saddle Up with Porter. We really wanted something special to show the Stollery that they have given the world to us. We expected that it was going to be a small turnout and it was massive and we ended up raising $25,000 for the Neurosurgery Kids Fund at the Stollery Hospital. It's important to give back to an organization like the Stollery because it gives children life. Stollery has impacted us in a huge way. Uh, I can't imagine what it would be like without having the Stollery around. I can't imagine what it would be like to try to raise a child like Porter without access to that type of a hospital. Porter is my wonder, absolutely. He changed me a lot for the better. They would always say to us, Porter's writing his own book, and it's true. We just gotta kinda sit back and wait to read it.